All right, here we go. Your full weather forecast brought to you by Ruth and Wimpy's restaurant in Hancock. Now hiring for all positions. Let's get into things though. And again, we have a lot of issues in effect here where my hand is at here. This was a dense fog advisory that was issued earlier. That was up until around 10 a.m. So that's now out of here. A different color here that's very similar, so it might be hard to see, is an air quality alert that's also posted for most of the state. And further off from the north and west too, that's an aerial flood watch dropping at midnight tonight. Here's the air quality right now. Most of us are in the green right now. Have some yellow off for the north and east so we're not bad yet though but all the smoke that's off for the west will be tracking off towards the east and that'll make our air quality a little bit tough but not for a long period of time it'll start to improve later on here's where all that smoke is currently at it's kind of moving in from the alberta fires in canada actually so for once it's not quebec so the loop the forecast shows the smoke will start to clear out of here as we head towards late wednesday afternoon no into thursday so we have a little bit to deal with this so but once we head towards late wednesday afternoon into wednesday night things will start to improve otherwise we've had some fog out there though that we've been dealing with and that caused visibility levels to drop down for a while but that's starting to improve but not as quickly though because not as much sunshine if any is out there but we are dealing with those clouds out there too some storms in parts of quebec canada they definitely need the rain with all the fires going on in parts of canada too but as we zoom things out and give you the bigger picture here's low pressure right about here this cold front tracking off to the east and a little bit of activity just to the east of that as well so so we do have some chances for showers and storms on the way later this week but not as strong of chances at least for this point so if you Cast moving forward, some storms to the north. Some might get close to Bangor, but most of them should probably miss once we head towards later on tonight and parts of tomorrow. Looking dry for the most part, though, but areas of dense fog that we'll need to watch out for again, though. And then I'll start to taper off as we head towards your Wednesday. Maybe a few storms by Wednesday afternoon. And then Wednesday night, though, not looking too bad either. Looking rather dry with a mostly clear sky on the way. So otherwise, though, talking about precipitation, maybe a tiny bit today. Most of it will be farther off towards the north. One or two storms may try to sneak to the south, but again, very small chance as all the this will stay further off towards the north. Then later on, at least through Friday, maybe a little bit of rain on the way with localized areas up to a half an inch at best. So otherwise, so let's talk about the dew points. We're still up there just a bit, though, in the 60s and even getting close to the 70s. So will drop down Wednesday to Thursday, but back up again Friday, Saturday, and also in your Sunday. Forecast for today looks like this. Mostly cloudy, maybe a pop-up thunderstorm. Highs in the low 80s. South wind getting up to around 20 miles per hour. By tonight, mid-60s, a chance for storms roughly early, but it looks like that chance is starting to decrease now with areas of dense fog and that south wind getting up around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances for showers and storms do move back in for tomorrow with highs in the lower 80s and a southwest wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Ruth and Wimpy's restaurant extended forecast for dry Thursday with a party cloudy sky highs in the low 80s, but chances of storms are back Friday and Saturday with highs in the upper 70s and a few lower 80s.